Good morning. What are you doing today? Uh, you know, I got a lot of things. Um, you know, round things. You're so funny. Do you have band practice today? No, I don't have a band. I mean, I don't have rehearsal. Um, I think I'm gonna um, get a coffee. Cool. I take milk, no sugar. I prefer almond milk, but if they have macadamia, that's fine. Oh, okay. I was kidding. Me too. Um, thanks. Dalsbrunn Glacier in Norway. They're beautiful. Are they yours? Yes. I took them on my last trip to Norway in 2003. I went there with my wife two months before she passed. We used to try to take a trip somewhere every year, even if it was only to Philadelphia. But she loved Norway the best. Is this the only place you show? Excuse me? Are you represented by this gallery? Actually, I'm the program coordinator here, and sometimes I put a few of my pieces in, in a group show. Program coordinator. Mona, if you play that record one more time, I'm going to melt it into a novelty ashtray. Well, then I'll play the other side, It's then. not a question of sides. It's a question of musical integrity. Well, then I'll just sing one. I'm a honky-tonk whore. Jane! You said we 
did work on songs today. I did? I should just have a solo career. Go right ahead, superstar. <gasps> You're mean! Mean! You can play the guitar. You're a goddamn virtuoso. And your whole family is a prog rock prodigies. And all I'm asking for is a little help arranging a song here and there. Jean? Mm. Do you want to be in a band with me? You know I do, Mona. I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to be. Can we work on songs today, then? Uh, I agreed to be in an art show. What? I said I'd put some paintings in a group show at this gallery. What gallery? What paintings? The show's later tonight, and I don't really have time to make any new paintings, so I think I'm just gonna go up to my parents' house and get some of my old paintings from high school. Oh, well that sounds like fun. A little road trip or something. I'd love to meet your family. I can't take you with me. You're gonna have to stay here. you with me. <laughs> Mona, you know that. It's not like I want to see my family. I'm sorry. Do you want to come with me? Hiking for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to see my body and start committing high treason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We just hop in a stranger's car. Yeah. I hope we get banged in a couple of hours. I don't know which one's ours, which one's yours, which one's mine, which one's fly, which one's to try. On me first, I don't know who's giving a deep verse. I know that these verses is too hot. Damn. Yeah. 
flow is so hard. Someone's gonna come on my rod. I don't give a fuck who it is. It could be a cop. After they just pull him over for raping two guys oh, on the yeah. side of the road. Uh huh. Yeah, they was raping. They was raping us vigorously. Yeah. She fucked the nigga around me. Yeah. And I'm like what? I am like what? What is this dick about? She no. look like a she. I guess she get he. No. All it might be. B. All it might be H. B. I got a BJ <laughs> for like three days. Yeah. She wasn't giving me space. She was giving me rape. It was making me feel real great. Grapes are wrath. She was raffle on my ass. Oh, yeah. On my asshole. Treated like a raffle. She ripped it, but I got the prize. Uh, Rib it. Uh, I ain't circumcised. Uh, so uh, my skin, you can snip it. Yeah. Here's a little tidbit. Yeah. I got a little little bitty tit tit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little dick dick. Little dick, dick You dick. should take your fingers and just dip in my little. little bit, bit, bit. Woo! Shit, shit. Feel me? Yeah! Did you guys know any other kind of music? Other kind of music? Hey, where are you guys going? Uh, right now, feel me, uh, Toasty and I, we're going to, we head on a vacation towards the end, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Antarctica, so. Why are you going there? Well, there's two main reasons, feel me? The first reason is that birds out here fly, and I want to be the flyest bird out, turn right. them penguins into right. peng losers. Feel me? And we can show them what fly is. Well, I just want to go there to get frosty, to get icy and glistening. I love ice. I love just shining on niggas. And what's shinier than ice? And what's more icy than um can't? Antarctica. Antarctica. Second reason is that most people really feel like the earth is round when you know the earth is flat. Earth you is feel flat, me? Look, look around. Do you, see, flat, do you see a curve? <laughs> bro. That line's going straight. Which means Antarctica is the ice wall at the end of the planet. Right. And I'm definitely trying to go somewhere far beyond this world because I done right. did everything that's in right, it, man. Right. Well, done. there's one thing you haven't done. Nah, I done there, did there's it certainly all. one thing you haven't nah, done. I and she's sitting all. right here in I the passenger seat. There's definitely one thing you haven't done. And she's sitting here right here, right here in the, <laughs> in the passenger seat. You feel me? <laughs> I'd like an order of black pudding potato cakes, fried eggs, tomato chutney, no parsley, and a cup of milk. I'm sorry, we only have available what's on the menu. Yeah, I know what's on the menu, but it's not what I want. Well, why don't I give you a few minutes to look over me and you can find something that you want. Wait a minute. I know what I want. Black pudding, potato cakes, fried eggs, tomato chutney, and a cup of Earl Grey. I'm sorry, we don't have blood pudding or tomato chutney. I could get you fried egg, tomato, and maybe some sausages. I what do you mean you don't make tomato chutney? You make regular dough. chutney, don't you? I got I'm dough. sorry. Maybe I should get my manager. You it's only it. my first day. Tell your boss, go get it like a genie. Tell him micro manage my micro weenie. Oh, micro weenie, you can type see me <laughs> in the back with the manager. Shut up! You've got pig's blood and oatmeal and a blender of some kind. Sorry, babe. I don't make the rules. Then I'm going to make it as easy for you as I can. I'd like eggs with a side of sausage and a chicken salad sandwich with tomatoes and a bowl of oatmeal. So a number two and a chicken salad sandwich with tomatoes. Great. Yeah, now all you have to do is hold the chicken, stir the pig's blood and the onion into the oatmeal, bake it, blend the tomatoes with chili and vinegar, brew up a cup of Earl Grey, and give me a check for the chicken sandwich and the eggs, and you haven't broken any rules. So you want me to hold the chicken? I want you to hold it between your knees. You see that sign? You see this sign? Fuck. How long are you gonna be gone? I don't know, Mona. You know me well enough to know this is just about the last thing in the world I wanna do. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Read a magazine, write a song, amuse yourself, please. Try to call you when I get there.
machine. I don't believe it. He doesn't even know who the hell I am. Remember, I've been you been searching. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Go ahead, excuse me. I was just gonna ask Jean, how long has it been since she's been away from here? Three years. Oh, no, no, no. More like two years. Oh, it's been far longer than that, Gustav. Rupert, you have no sense of timing away from the Mellotron, dear. That's not true. It's most certainly true. How long have you been here? Only two months. Your brother's been teaching me the guitar. So, Jean, what have you been doing with yourself for the past few years? Well, I'm still living in New York. I've had a couple of bands. I'm still trying to be famous. And you haven't been playing any music at all? No, I have been playing music. I've been playing a lot of different kinds of music, you know, trying to write a hit. But surely you don't consider noodling away at some blue scales while an untrained Muppet howls in heat playing music. Of course it's music. Bamp! 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 That's music! Bamp! Everybody's getting into she mad trouble. Everybody is a she! A she! Judge! Stop it, Jean. Huge. You are upsetting the brother. I had to go the store. Come along, Catherine. I'm sorry if I spoke out of turn at dinner. It's your family. I have no business getting involved in ancient family feuds. It's all right. What are you doing with Gustav, anyway? Your brother's an incredible man. And a wonderful teacher. He may not be able to play 169th notes in 11-8, but... He plays from his cerebellum. Would you play something for me? Sincerely impressed. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just, um, I played the easiest thing I could think of. I played that for the first time when I was four, and I played it better then. Well, can't you tell it's the cleverness that impressed me? I wasn't thinking about anything. You weren't thinking about anything. Nothing at all. Well, then perhaps I was supplying it. 
Maybe if you supplied a little more, it might rub off on me, who knows? I doubt it. I could get interested. I couldn't. to have me for dinner like this. Of course, any any friend of Jean's is, is a friend of ours. You know, Jean said she'd call me when she got up here. And I was just waiting and waiting by the telephone for days and days. It's been four hours. And the television was busted so I could not watch any of my programs. I would have called y'all up myself, except Jean didn't leave me a number. I feel like a real pig barging in here unannounced. <laughs> but I don't understand. Why did you stay at the motel? There's plenty of space here. Well, I was going to, but Jean had to kind of come up here, she said, and Feel it up here first. And then it took so long that I ran flat out of money. You know, you didn't leave me any money. And I had to, you know, get in a taxi and come on out here on the hopes that I would not be intruding myself. Oh, not at all, dear. You're perfectly welcome here. Well, thank you. That is a very nice thing for you to say. Not at all. You certainly do have a beautiful head of hair. Thank you. Is it natural? Mona, for God's sake. Dean tells me y'all are real technical to guitar players. I don't know much about modes and scales, but I sure do love to sing. I don't know if you would be particularly interested in hearing anything about me. My life. Most of it doesn't add up to much that I could relate to a way of life that you would approve of. I genre hop a lot. Not because I'm borrowing motifs from different musical traditions and synthesizing them to create a new, unique, subversive sound and political message just because I'm trying to be famous. I'm trying to imagine your half of this conversation. You know, it's funny because... Because out there in the world, people see me as the snob and the innovator that you wanted me to be. But the truth is, I don't care about art. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Come on, Mona. Let's leave. I'm gonna go inside and get some sweeties. Okay. You want anything, hun? No, I'm fine. Are you sure you don't want anything? Hint, hint. Yeah, I'm sure. Are you sure? Yeah. You're not gonna get lonely in here. You sure you're not gonna get lonely? Go get your candy. You're mean! Got a jacket or anything? Uh, no, it got burned up. 
everything in the car got the shit burned out of it. Everything. All I got is these paintings. Suit yourself. I'll tell you one thing though. Where we're going, it'll be colder than hell. I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I especially like this painting. I would like to have it for my own private collection. Uh, I wasn't going to sell that one. Then you shouldn't be showing it. This is the one. I must have this painting. It is super fantastic. Hi, Jean. Do you know this guy? No, he's nobody. I had no idea there would be so many poor people here. Jane! I walked here all the way from Yonkers. Hi, 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 hi everyone. Hi, I'm Jean's friend. I'm Jean's best friend from, uh, from Miss Gigi. Cleverly tucked away deep in the bowels of the garishly provincial Upper West Side Arts Association, an unbearably quaint train station turned to most municipal galleries, hides something of a revelation. Five works on paper, barely squeezing themselves into an overcrowded sophomoric horror of a group show. The artist, Jean Dark, a nobody in a nothing gallery in Nowheresville, shyly submitting five efforts, paintings she made in high school, Dark insists. Blind stabs into the Chthonian darkness of murky, skillless adolescence. None but the layest of lay people will walk unwittingly into Dark's trap. Obviously, this is not the work of an amateur, an outsider, a savant. Obviously, these nocturnal phantasms are too masterful to be even a genius's juvenilia. Oh, Jesus. We in the city of experts are meant to be in on the joke. That's the joke, right? I confess that up until now, Dark had passed under my radar. The scion of the cloistered dark clan, progressive rock gods all, has managed to keep a low profile in the world of music, evidently promised to another muse. Jean Dark belongs to us, whether we're ready or not.
I mean, you wanted a good review. I think that's a pretty fucking good one, considering this talentless bitch knows nobody in New York. It's kind of a goddamn miracle. I mean, have you seen these paintings? She did do them in high school. Whatever. Mission accomplished. So what's next? Mm. Should I mail the boys their tickets to Antarctica? Mm. Yeah. Sounds good. What's the next step? How do we move forward? Move? With the plan. Your master plan. You do have a plan, don't you, Chewy? Thank you.